Is this the 22nd? 23rd. 22nd. 22nd. And we are rolling for part two. Oh, you're tall. I'm really tall. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. And on the 22nd of November, this is part two of our impromptu speeches, where we're at UCLA, where the sunshine is still <laughs> shining beautifully. Thank God. Yeah. We love that about UCLA, don't we? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to, uh, for those of you that missed the uh, last tape, we're going to hear from. Confucius and his thoughts about learning, where he observed learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. Cool. Hey guys, I'm Ashley. Um, Hi, Ashley. One time I was in the ninth grade and my history professor told me this quote from Benjamin Franklin and I might mess it up, but I'm pretty sure it goes something like this. I think it says, Tell me, I'll forget. Teach me, I might remember. But if you involve me, then I'll learn. And that was kind of like the motto of our ninth grade history class. Um, and I kind of think that played a role in how I'm learning at UCLA and everything like that. So that quote kind of ties into the quote that I was tasked with today, which is learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. Um, perilous, in case you don't know is kind of like a dangerous, it involves like bringing danger towards you. So if you think without learning before, then it could be dangerous. Um, and so with this quote, I would like to say that I agree with it. Um, and I'll show you why I agree in three reasons. Um, the first reason that I agree with this quote is um, someone I met in seventh grade that has really impacted my life. Um, when I was in seventh grade, I met Bethany Hamilton who is the surfer that's really famous because she lost an arm in a shark attack. And little seventh grade me is just like mesmerized by the fact that this lady doesn't have an arm and that she's still a professional surfer. And so she was telling me all about her experiences and why um, this quote kind of played an impact in her life. And so when she was, I think she was just 13 and she was surfing off the coast of Kauai and she had her left arm dangling in the water like she always does. She'd been surfing since she was like four or five. And all of a sudden, like a 13-foot tiger shark just comes up, like completely severs her left arm. And she's left with just like this nub. And so a month after she got out of surgery, she realized that she wanted to return back to her love of surfing. And so she says that she just went on the waves and she was just going through the motions, um, kind of just doing what she had always done. You know, she was just kind of going through like, oh, I stand up at this point, I paddle at this point. And she said that it wouldn't work every time. Like, she was kind of putting herself in more risk because she wasn't really thinking about it. She was just kind of doing it. And she said that she was talking to her family member one day, and I think it was her dad, and he said, you know, you really need to think about it. Like, think about everything that you have learned. And because you're thinking about it, then you'll be able to do this. And instead of putting herself in like a greater risk of just kind of flailing herself on the board, she really learned and she really thought about it. And it was because um, she learned and thought that her all her hard work of surfing with this one arm wasn't just labor lost. You know, she actually accomplished it and became one of the best female surfers of this generation. Um, so meeting her in the seventh grade really taught me that if you really think about what you're learning about, it, it can apply to so much more than just thinking and regurgitating it back on a test or thinking about something and just trying to go through the motions like she was in her surfing. Um, the second reason that I agree with this quote is um, actually from a class that I took two years ago. And if you guys haven't taken this class yet, it's called WAC 100B. And it's a world arts and cultures class and each um, quarter it has a new theme. And so the theme of my class that year um, was Black Lives Matter. And, you know, I'm a little blonde girl, so I walked into this class and I'm like, I have no idea how I can learn from this. You know, I was just learning the important facts about people that were in the movement and stuff like that. And it wasn't until 
this lady whose name was Shamel Bell came to my class and really taught us. And I don't mean like taught us, you know, all the things about this, but really showed us what she was talking about. And she was telling us that because she was one of the pivotal members in the Black Lives Matter movement, it really helped me to see um, the material a lot better. And I became really involved with her, and I, I even went on a protest walk with her one time. And it was back to that Benjamin Franklin quote that said, involve me and then I learn. And because I felt so involved with this movement, I really learned about it. And it wasn't like I was just learning this for a class, but because I met her and she like instilled her knowledge in me, then I really understood the material and really now understand what Black Lives Matter means. Um, the third reason that I think learning without thought is labor loss, thought without learning is perilous, is from a movie that I actually watched last night, so it's really fresh in my brain. Um, it's one of my favorite movies, and it's about this, the Zephyr skateboarding team in the 70s. Um, the movie is The Lords of Dogtown, and it's actually a really interesting movie because one of the key members in um, the skateboarding crew, his name is Sid, he gets diagnosed with brain cancer. And so as they're trying to kind of impact the way skateboarding will continue to be and how it is now, these are like the key pivotal figures in this, he says like, you know, I can't really do anything, I can just say what I'm doing, but I can't teach you anything, you know? I can't tell you what to do because here I am having brain cancer. And so one of the um, people, Jay Adams, he kind of just goes through it and just goes through the motions and doesn't think about anything because he's so disturbed by Sid's brain cancer. And he ends up being involved in a really like dangerous position. He gets involved with a lot of gangs and stuff like that. Um, and I think that really shows that because he, like, he was just going through the motions and didn't learn anything because he was blocking all of his experiences out, it was really dangerous to him. So that shows the second part of this quote. And then um, also in that movie, it's really interesting because it also comes back to learning without thought is labor lost. So because one of the guys just kind of pushes that aspect out and just focuses on his skateboarding, he's not really like learning or thinking about it because he's just kind of going through the motions. Um, so those three reasons are why I agree with learning without thought is labor loss, thought without learning is perilous. And I really think this applies to us all right now as we go into finals week. And you kind of just study things and memorize them to regurgitate them and put them back on a test. But I think especially now we really need to appreciate all the things we're learning and really dig into them deep just in case like we need to come back on them. And so. I learned a quote in the ninth grade about learning and how to really involve and how to really learn something. And I think that that really shows how true this quote is. You know, I thought about learning and I thought about doing that and because that, I really did learn that and now I feel like here I am applying that quote today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where are we? Me? Sure. Hi, I'm Rachel Leah. Hi. Hi, Rachel Leah. You did a really great job. You were a very eloquent speaker, mm -hmm. meaning that your, your intonations are great, your pacing is great, and your stories, the quote that you used applied nicely to this quote, and the stories that you used were very unique and different in their own way, and they each had something a little bit different to show, which mm -hmm. was nice. And yet they were still pertinent, I thought. Exactly. Which was yeah. really good. So they were different, but they weren't all the same. Exactly. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Okay, um, mm -hmm. you want to make a, a suggestion for Um, I, I thought it was perfect. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, another perfect. Okay, Moses, um, you can suggest <laughs> <laughs> I Moses. Hi, Moses. Hi, Moses. Um, I thought I really I don't know I really liked the first intro that um, you learned from your first ninth grade teacher. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if you like, talk to me, I will forget it. Teach me, I will remember it. Mm -hmm. Teach me, like, I will remember it. So yeah. I think it was really good. Um, if you can somehow like tie back to, I don't know if 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 anything can be added. I, I think it was really good. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice, too. Well, um, one thing I want to compliment you on that others haven't done as well, and you had a mouthful of a quote to remember, 
I was like, ugh, morning, we're out five later. I was like, ah, you know, so. But you managed to spit it out three or four times in your speech, which I admire, and it gave your speech a nice uh, coherence because it made the arguments you made pertinent, you know. And so I liked that very much. I liked your intro, I liked the Ben Franklin thing, and I liked the, uh, sentiment that it expressed is the act of learning and that sort of thing. And I like the way you agreed with the quote and your preview was excellent. Uh, your your points were uh, examples were good. Uh, and I like the story of your class WAC 200 that was a good story yeah. And uh, that was uh, unexpected. Uh, so, uh, and it was unexpected about the girl, what was her name, Bethany Hamilton, yeah. without an arm. That was unexpected too. So that was, uh, that was excellent. Uh, so uh, your summary conclusion, a little better tie back, and uh, but you were you were smooth and you got the job done very nicely. So thank, thank you. you, good job. Okay, we have time for one more. How about a young, the young man here? A young man is ready to go. Yeah. I think I would do much better than this. <laughs> yeah, you and everybody else. Yeah. These, these brave women are putting you to shame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, mm -hmm. so I think everybody put you to shame. Thank you for going, Jane. All right, well, our work is done. We'll have to hurry <laughs> up and go slow uh, next so time. Funny. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Same to you. <laughs> yeah. You say yes. I say no. You say stop. I say go, go, go. So other than the timeline, did you see the uh, third switch summarization? The third switch? No, no, third, sw third switch. Yeah. Did you, did, uh, did you get it? Yeah, now I want you to incorporate that into what I, the way I told you to do it with the time. Wait, do you want the timeline from that yeah. as well? Chomsky? Yeah, Chomsky. Yeah, Chomsky. Yeah, Chomsky. Yeah, Chomsky. Yeah, Chomsky. No, I don't want the Chomsky. Yeah. That's all, right? Okay. No, I want That's the other right. one. Okay. Um, what was the other... Okay. So is there a other thing that you want me to do? Yeah, I want... I still want... The professors? The professors. You didn't see the email. That you gave Thank me a low yeah. Bye. You, Welcome. Be well. I remember you wanted a summary of each professor, right? Yeah. Okay. You haven't done that yet, right? Okay. Summary and just timeline. Other than I can probably do one more. Okay, okay. okay. That would be great. That would be fabulous. Okay. Mm, boy. So we got six. Mm, boy. Six. Okay. I have a question regarding our policy paper. So, can I choose a topic that's yeah, This will answer all your questions. That's the, kind of this. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. It's very, like, questions. international. I want to actually go about um, two-child policy that's been like, in China. going on in China. Uh, Is that okay? What's your uh, proposition? I actually um, disagree with it. Mm -hmm. And the two-child policy, mm -hmm. hasn't it been changed? Or is it changed? Yes. So it's not a two-child policy anymore. You mean the one-child policy? One child That's policy. actually changed to two-child yeah, policy. Yeah, it's from it's changed one child to gone from one to two. In the last year or so. And you disagree with it? You think it should be three or four or no, no policy? One. 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 Oh, As in an oh, international perspective. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's so interesting. Oh, boy. You're, you're, you're a mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. So you're a Malthusian, yeah. huh? Good. Yeah, I actually want to relate to environmental issues as well. Yeah. Do you have too many people in the country? This is where I'm happy that I took yeah, history yeah, yeah. of science because I actually got the most. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Oh, really? Yeah. It's good. Good well, I'll need to see the wording of it, but yeah, send me the wording. 
wording, like sentence you know, Yeah, be it, be it resolved that uh, China should abandon, Red China should abandon its two-child mm -hmm. policy yes. in favor of a one-child policy. Something like that. On your email address. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've sent a lot. But well, thank you again. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank, you. thank you for running this. What do you want? This? No. This? Maybe what? Thank you for running this. Oh, no time. problem. Yeah. So, you just want summary and the timeline, does it? Or is there. Summary of the timeline. Uh, summary of the. Actually, no, not summary, but summary of the professors and the timeline from the that show. Yeah. That's it? And, yeah. I just say. Uh, I can probably do one more. Moderator. Moderator, one. Minutes, third choice, minutes, that's Seven minutes, minutes. yeah, that's all. Got it. And even if they're, they're, they speak for a cross act of three minutes, put that in. Like what if that. it's like a less than like 15 seconds? Do we no, still? No, no, that's okay. You all right. Skip that. Um, well, look what the cat dragged in. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, are you? I'm good. What's so happening? If you don't, if you uh, <coughs> like it. Stand away from no. me. If you're sick. So if you don't, don't have anything, I'll, are you sad then? You, you, don't, you don't need to do any makeups now at 4 o'clock? Makeups? I don't have any makeups. Okay, that's okay, yeah. fine. Okay, yeah, you're good. Just get that to me as soon as you can. Sure. Here. Okay. Sign up sheet goes here. So you ready to perform? For the second one, yeah. Okay, we'll go over to the, the lab. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me uh, uh, pause this here. I'll turn this off.